Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to solve the problem find the nth value after k seconds from the weekly contest 401. Now if you see here the acceptance rate of the problem is around 56 percent that means you can try this problem and you can see that 20.9 people have accepted this solution. So if you have not tried this problem please go and give it a try and mostly you will be able to solve the problem. So if you if you try it for at least 20 minutes and if you unable to solve then you can watch the next part of the video. So first we will understand the question clearly then we will see the di different approaches to solve the problem. Here you are given a two integers n and k it is n and k. Initially you start with an array a of n integers where a of i equals to 1 from 0 to n minus 1 he is saying that there will be n integers in an array. So, if n is equals to 4 from 0 to n minus 1 all my values will be 1 and after each second you simultaneously update each element to be sum of all its preceding elements plus the element itself. So, he is telling that after every second at 0 second this will be my value at 1 second I will add all these values 1 and previous value and this value it will be 2. Uh, 2 and this value it will be 3, 4. So, I will add all these values. For example, after 1 second a of 0 becomes a of 1 becomes a of 0 plus a of 1, a of 2 becomes a of 0 all these values. Now, you can see here it is simple in the first second it will be 1, 1, 1, in the second second it will be my prefix sum 2, 3 and 4, in the third second it will be 1, 3, 6 and 10. So, only we are adding all the previous values all the previous values and this value is saying that we need to return the value of a of n minus 1 after k seconds after k seconds you need to return a of n minus 1 that is 56 here after 5 seconds my answer will be 56 since the answer can be very large so you need to do 10 power 9 plus 7 it is usually recommended to make our uh, integer value to store now now let us see this example clearly all we have one ones n is equals to 4 and k is equals to 5. So, we need to go till 5 seconds. At 0 second my values are this. At 1 second, at 1 second my values can be it will be 1 right, it will be 1 and it will be add with this one. So, it will be 2 and same thing 2 plus 1 3, 3 plus 1 it will be 4 right. In the second second, in the second second it will be 1 same because first value do not change and 1 plus 2 which will be 3 right and till here my values are 3 and you need to add this value 3 plus 3 which is 6, 6 plus 4 which is 10. So, in this way you will calculate for 3, 4 and 5 and if you do the same thing you will get 1, 6, 21 and 56 and finally we will return 56. So, if you observe here, if you observe here we will do same thing in our implementation but now you can see my n and k are 1000 and 1000. So, it will be like 1000 into 1000 only, 1000 into 1000. Now, let us understand this problem. Now, these are all my values, it can store my answer. First, it at 0 second my all values will be 1, right. So, first k is equals to 0, this condition is k is equals to 0, i is equals to 0, i less than in i plus plus, all my values are 1, all my values are 1 and I am declaring the modulo here and I am declaring modulo here and i is equals to 1 i less than or equals to k i less than or equals to k. So, my first value will always be 1 right my first value will be 1. So, these all values will be 1. So, initially I am storing 1 1 and j is equals to 1. So, consider this example suppose we are at this position and j is equals to 1 which is this this index. So, dp of i j minus 1 i j minus 1 that means this value 1 plus 1 plus i minus 1 j i minus 1 j means this value 1 plus 1 which will be 2 right which will be 2. So, in the same thing with the 3 2 plus 1 3 plus 1. So, we are doing the same thing in this array and we are returning it dp of k n minus 1 modulo answer. So, I think you have got it. So, here my time complexity will be n into n and my space will be n into n. So, if you observe only we are my states are dependent only on previous index only my states whenever I am at 2 I am depending only on 1, when I am at 3 I am depending only on 2. 
So, can we reduce my time com space complexity? Now, interviewer can say, can you reduce the space complexity? Yes, I can definitely reduce it. Now, if you observe, if you observe other than going with this, what we are doing is we are taking uh, only single array and all my four values will be 1, all my four values will be 1 and and while you are i is equals to 1, i less than or equals to k, this is same. So, d p of j is equals to d p of j minus 1, d p of j minus 1, all my values at, at, uh, at 0 th index it will be 1, it will be 1. Now, at this position it will be 1 plus 1, 2. Now, you can see here d p of j minus 1 plus d p of j, d p of j is 1, this is 1. So, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4. Now, consider for second second, second second it will be the first it will be 1, it will be 1, then this will be my 1 and I will add 1 plus d p of j that means this is 2 right, 1 plus 2 it is 3, 3 plus 3 it is 6, 6 plus 4 it is 10. So, in this way I can solve this problem in order of n space as well. So, we have seen two approaches order of n into n and then we have optimized it to order of n. I think that you have understood this approach, if you understood this solution please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe. I will see you in the next video till then bye bye.